this one, I'm going to be uh, lowering the front of the car. I'm pretty much winging it on this one, so uh, if it comes out terrible, my bad. This is just uh, what's happening, and now there's a trash truck pulling up. So, um, the reason why I'm winging it, because I don't even have a proper jack, nor jack stands. Um, I don't have a spring compressor if I need it, because they're lowering springs, so I think I'll be able to just put them on. That's just from getting my tools ready. Um, but fortunately, I have like a little uh, mechanic seat bench, roller bench, so I'm not gonna be totally uncomfortable. And I do have my impact, so that's gonna be uh, pretty dang nice. Oh, yeah, so I uh, just wanna show you guys this little this scratch. As you can see, the scratch is a little bit, like, if you see dents like that, that was actually always there. Um, but yeah, I guess just like different angles when I show the car, you can't really see it. But yeah, if you see dents, especially on that other door, like uh, that showed up in the last video, uh, those were just, that's just damage that was already there. But, and then once I polished it and got off all the oxidation, it basically uh, revealed so much more, except for like much more noticeable things and stuff. Yeah, so I got the scratch and it, as you can see, it looks a little bit, um, blurry what i actually did was i got some uh the matching paint from the spray can i bought a 20 dollars airbrush and i kind of learned how to use an airbrush and it's pretty dang cool using a little compressor that you can buy and a little airbrush where you can go like this and i actually like feathered it in it looks terrible on camera but in broad daylight from like 10 feet away you can't even tell so that's like that was like my little project that I was doing um, off camera. I, I made a video of it, but I mean I don't think you guys are interested in learning about airbrushing. But yeah. So um, the suspension is pretty old, pretty beat. It's making a knocking noise in this upper area, so I'm thinking it's that bearing. So I got a new one of those, and I got a new mount. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty rusted and dirty. The engine bay has uh, never been detailed. And uh, yeah, that's just for obviously obvious reasons. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I have, what I'm gonna replace and go from there. But as you can see, it's rusty and this is pretty dang old and the ride quality is pretty shot in this car. So these are the parts that I got. Basic strut. Um, the shafts are pretty dang massive because it's a McPherson style, so this counts for your upper control arm since everything gets, um, you know, the full load and it twists. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty new to me compared to like, you know, being with the DC2 for so long and a DC4 with third gen in general and the older Civics and Integras. And then I got, got a new mount. This is basically what that rides on, like the top hat. It rides on that and this spins under load and that's basically your bearing that goes like that that goes like that and this goes on top of there I mean you guys already know this but you guys probably just find this stuff uh, pretty dang interesting like I like I do and uh, this is the Megan racing um, what is that uh, spring lowering spring I believe it's about an inch shorter so and it drops it about two inches overall, so you're gonna see this thing pretty low. But hopefully I still have a little bit of wheel gap because I don't mind wheel gap. I just still want a more sportier stance than 4x4 style. So this is what I'm gonna be throwing on. The only thing I need from my original setup is the actual upper top hat that this rides on. And everything else is just gonna be new and I'm just gonna put it back and then I'm just gonna go straight for an alignment. But yeah, so. And uh, the disappointing thing about this video is that I'm not gonna be uh, doing the rears. I'm just gonna be doing the front. I'm gonna do the rears some other day. Just park the car, do it some other day because by the time I'm done with this on both sides, I'm gonna be done, so. Sorry for the disappointment. You guys will not get to see uh, the actual stance of the car in this video, but you will see me uh, replacing this and seeing the front lowered. But yeah, so. Let me get started. All right guys, so I got it all jacked up. As you can 
see that's a pretty dang crusty looking shock. Everything in here looks pretty bad. That's original. And yeah, so. Fortunately, I have this little seat. So that thing's helping out pretty good. So now it's time to take off this uh, wheel. And uh, it's a good thing I don't have to deal with no upper ball joint. So it's just gonna be this uh, outer tie rod. And then uh, I have my little hammer for that. And then just start unbolting it. All right guys, so after looking at this more, this is a June 02 car. So I'm pretty sure that's the date, June 6, 02. So that's original right there. It looks like all I have is the ABS line and the brake line. And those are uh, 12 and a 10, so yeah. And it looks like this split right here, so I gotta look at all that now. But that's pretty typical for you know, an older car like this. Uh, anything rubber, it's just gonna degrade over time. So yeah, so. Let me get uh, these two, then this, and then um, work on this. Hopefully I have a damn socket that big, but we'll see. And I just found a 22 right there. So 22, 19, but I'm gonna try and do the impact right here for the 22 nut. And if that doesn't uh, come out, then um, yeah, that'll suck. So I'm not gonna do the actual bolt but do the nut because it's uh you know these resistance and stuff so yeah it's gonna should come out all right so i got that always keep your fasteners where uh you can see them in an open clean area so you know you're not kicking stuff around or mixing it up or anything so looks like i'll probably need that bushing but fortunately i already bought it uh yeah but let me see yeah i, had a, I already bought the uh, polyethylene bushing for this one and right there but i'm not gonna do that now so because for one these are uh, 36 millimeter um axles and i don't even have a 36 millimeter um socket for this car so yeah, so I only have a 32 for the Integra, but um, I want to take this out. I want to take the hub off, and then I want to take the uh, the ball joint because I already have a lower ball joint set, and I already have a bushing. It's like I already have everything for this car that I've been uh, hoarding parts, but I need that tool, so I gotta um, go with like an OEM tool to see if they have that for a decent price and not 50 bucks. But yeah, so let me get this off. All right, let's see. Ready, get that, go. Oh shit. That thing is strong. Wow, got it. All right, well, let me get to that one. Probably need a swivel, but wow, that thing uh, busted it right off. After I get these two loose, I'm gonna uh, take off this one right here. $5 Harbor Freight two and a half pound baby sledge. So, yeah, so I got these uh, just hand tight. Now I'm going to work above and uh, pull this whole assembly off. For people who don't know how uh, McPherson strut suspension looks like and steering because it's all combined. The strut and everything pivots it moves and it pivots up there oh yeah so instead of a double wishbone where you have another a arm right here and that gives you a real real solid feel versus this one where this is more i think it's more of a uh, comfort but i do feel that this car does have less understeer this car definitely has a lot less understeer. You can go like a raging bull into a corner, give it a gas, downshift, give it gas, and this thing just pulls you through. And on top of it, I believe that, well, I'm not gonna get too much into detail about like the handling and everything, because I wanna make that a different video. But yeah, like, uh, 
this thing does have improvements and I'm pretty sure like it does have its you know downfalls and stuff but yeah, I kind of want to make a separate video on that so back to uh, pulling this off all right so I just got these nuts off right here and man those things are pretty filthy right there everything's just basically all original on this car so it's gonna get a nice little improvement right now so now let me take this off and it's all gonna drop all right guys so got it out got it right here look how crusty that that is right there from all the engine bay dust and everything that's never been clean and yeah well actually the engine bay dust wouldn't even make it down there that's his road gram right there yeah so now it's time to uh take this off and wow that's actually pretty stuck on there i thought this was supposed to be uh like three or something yeah that is that seems damaged right here. All right, so gonna uh, take this off. Wow, this thing didn't even have a bump stop that went there probably that went there yeah no bump stop so that thing probably disintegrated a long long time ago this has that right there that's that bearing and uh yeah so I'm gonna uh snag this and put the other piece back in or the, the other uh, assembly so I got the new parts right here. I got the old parts right there. And everything looks pretty dang good. And I've noticed that this spring is actually lighter than this spring. It's kind of weird. I mean, you would think that it should be the same or this one's less since it's uh, you know, less coils and a little bit shorter. Um, also, I seen some rubbing right there. right there so that could have been some of the noise I've been hearing but that goes right there on the bottom and it looked like it could have been rubbing against somewhere right here but yeah so I'm gonna be uh, throwing these out I'm gonna keep the springs just in case I ever want to go back or I could always put these with this and just uh, you know be a uh, 4x4 four four status but this is going to be a nice little upgrade so this is front right there I actually have to flip this and it's actually going to be like this upside down because that's where the top hat goes that's where it goes to the strut but yeah so let me install this and yeah all right so I already have it where it should be everything's looking good all I have to do is just apply a little body pressure right here probably 20 pounds and then pop this on Put a crescent wrench right there and uh, screw it down. It should be good. All right, so we finally got got it all together. We got this tightened down. It took uh, literally one minute. So now it's time to uh, put everything in. And yeah, the main big thing that kind of sucks about all this is my alignment and the fact that I could only do the front. So just gonna get this done quick. Throw it on. Lower it. And uh, let's see how it looks like. All right, guys. So I already got it. So far, I got this tie rod. I got to replace lower ball joint. I got to replace, but I already have it. Um, and then these bushings. So I definitely have to come back here. Um, the only snag I ran into was that this bracket was a little bit too low, and I couldn't put the bolt in because it was touching it. Like the, I got it like halfway in, and then yeah, it just started. So I got. Uh, lug nut tool kind of bent it a little bit up and it went right in so 
And then also, you guys are probably noticing that I don't have no shield or anything right there. Well, there's really no point in having it since uh, it broke and uh, I don't have one to replace it with. So that's just gonna have to do for now. But um, yeah, eventually I'm just gonna go full coil over, probably 36 way or, you know, like the adjustable. So I could do like a weekend stiffness and then, uh, you know, weekday uh, soften up, you know, but this is just gonna have to do for now. And also the bump stop, there was just no bump stop at all. And I didn't even know any of this was thrashed. I just knew that um, there was a weird knocking noise and like a scraping noise. So this is gonna take care of that nicely. So let me uh, tighten up everything, mount this back up, and yeah, it's gonna be all good to go. All right guys, so got the ABS, brake line, at the uh, tie rod. I just have to do the three bolts up there, tighten those up nicely, got these tightened up nicely. And uh, yeah, put on the wheel, so up there, put on the wheel, lower it, let's see how it looks like. So, got everything installed, got the wheel on, got the steering, look how beat up that is, but yeah, it's already worn anyway, so that's going to be the next uh, little batch, I'm just taking notes, it's going to be the next little, part of the next little batch of parts I buy, and yeah, so let me lower it, and let's see how this thing looks like. I actually had to clean the brakes a little bit, because I got filth all over them, so can't forget that. All right guys, so now I'm on this side right here and I got the same situation, but different date, it's an 02. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the way and it's basically the same exact process as before. Yeah, you can see the filter right there. Uh, but yeah, so. Oh crap, look at this. That's the first time I'm seeing any of this stuff. I haven't jacked this car up or seen anything. Oh yeah, like all I do is just put like some little uh, VRP right here by uh, Chemical Guys, just make it nice and black, you know, just for appearance. But as far as anything mechanical, I don't know anything about this car. So same process as before. And yeah, you can see we're rubbing right there. That's crazy, so. Yeah, let me get the other side. Let me get this side and show you guys. All right guys, so I already got this one already installed. I mean not installed, but assembled. I had to line up everything with like the OEM marks right here. And I marked my own right there because this only goes in one way. I got the uh, spring seated in properly. Now it's time to just uh, throw it in. All right, guys, so it's a beautiful day today. That cloud is giving me some nice lighting. It's like a nice filter. So there's the car right there. It's a little lower in the front. I wish it was a little bit lower, but that's all I'm getting right there. So yeah, the back is a uh, stock ride height and this kind of looks like this stock right eyed but it is a little bit lower and that's about up to my eyes right there and yeah so when I walk upon it it is definitely lower but I wish it was gonna be more probably has to settle in really not sure that's the other side I mean it is a definitely a noticeable difference there's no denying that but yeah like i was hoping maybe a wheel like a one inch wheel gap but yeah hey it's okay and that's how the back looks now that's just awful i think uh the, the previous owners of these tires had them like over inflated so like the inners are a little bit low so it was like uh you know ballooned in the center so i took out some air pressure and that dent right there, it has a little touch-up paint, but uh, that was always there when I bought the car, but it looks pretty bad now that I'm looking at it. Oh yeah, so that's uh, stock, and that's it a little bit lower. So we just gotta see. 
when the back is lowered just got to see it all together but it definitely gave it a much sharper uh, look so, yeah so just more little things that are coming like I'm gonna remove this tint I'm gonna um, tint the whole car um, repaint the mirrors paint this trim right here and just a uh, little stuff like that I'm gonna paint it rather than replacing it I think they're about 40 bucks a piece so just might as well spend some uh, time to mask it up and paint it so yeah and it'll be free too since I already have the supplies so yeah so let's check out the other side again and yeah so there's the sun it finally came out and not bad not bad at all when the tin is on there and it's uh and it's more you know stuff at it i kind of want to get side skirts probably the uh the, the old 506 side skirts that'll be pretty cool or the type r um a spec style where it flares out on the bottom that's uh it's kind of a cool look and it goes good with uh this lip too so all right guys so that's gonna be a little video if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one